What's happening everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's me, they call me Heat. Today I'm gonna be talking about building a production or music production PC for you to make beats on or edit videos or edit pictures and it be you know substantial enough for you. But first I wanna give you guys a little backstory as to why I'm making this video today. So a little backstory. Um, for the people that have been watching my channel and watching the videos, as you guys know, I did purchase a brand new PC. I was using this HP at first. It was just, ugh, it just, it just didn't serve what I needed it to serve, right? And it, it lasted me a very long time. When I started really going hard and making the videos on the channel that you guys have been seeing, I needed a new computer because I was upgrading equipment and it's like buying a new, it's like buying new parts for a car, but not replacing the engine. It's like, why are you putting rims on this old dusty piece of crap that's essentially like what i was doing so i ended up buying this new computer it was an msi computer and i ended up getting it i think it was two grand uh brand new and i ended up getting it for like 1300 dollars on ebay i'm always looking for the good deal ended up getting that it was working so great you know uh, 256 gig SSD, the M2, M.2 version, one terabyte secondary drive. So I was able to save sounds and things like that on the side. It was great. It was an amazing laptop. It had the colorful keyboard, all that RGB stuff in the outside lit up and all that. That laptop at least lasted me a year and a half. That thing was powerful. I don't think I had any issues with that laptop except sometimes it didn't want to turn on. It wouldn't turn on sometimes and I just was like, you know, whatever, whatever, you know, whatever. Like, it, this is just the times that it just, just acts this way. You know, sometimes technology just takes a poop sometimes and comes back. Fast forward to a year and a half, my computer takes a poop. I get a call after taking it to the computer shop. A few days later, computer shop says, hey, you know, computer's here. I took it all apart, it's a million pieces. Come to find out, it's your motherboard. In that moment, I knew though that it was over for me. Like, I just was like, it's a wrap. Like, it was a wrap. He kind of like helped me and was like, hey, you know, but I was looking for a motherboard. I just wasn't finding the one with your screw pattern. Maybe call MSI and see if they have a motherboard for that particular laptop. Just see if they have that, right? So I called MSI, spoke with MSI, and MSI pretty much told me, you are They told me that my warranty was only a one year warranty. I knew that it was all done from there. I had no laptop from there. There was nothing that I could do. So that really hurt me. That really brought, a, I'm not gonna say it brought my confidence down or anything like that, but it hurt me. Whenever these types of things happen, it's always for the greater good. It's, it's, it's a bigger reason as to why something always happens in your life. Now you guys can see what the laptop looks like at this point. You know, you got the SSD uh, M.2 drive right here. This is a 256 drive. What? 256 gig drive. So yeah, this is the computer. It's 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 taken apart. Um, it's in pieces, like you said it was. Fast forward now from that happening. I think that happened back in February. Fast forward three months later. Here we are. I have built a brand new PC, like brand spanking new PC from the ground up. During the time of me not having my laptop, I was blessed with my brother. He let me use his uh, Asus laptop, which, you know, it held me down for the time that I needed it to hold me down. You know, I was able to still create content for you guys, still able to create beats and, and still, you know, be able to work in the downtime of not having a computer, so that was great. So now I have a brand new PC that I built. I'll show you guys, you know, what it looks like the parts that I purchased. I mean, for years, I've always told myself that I wanted to have one stationary computer that will be at home at all times. And I think that from me saying that over the years, matter of fact, I know that from me saying that over the years, this is why the laptop situation took, went went the way that it, it did. Because for years I was saying and speaking in, into existence of, I'm going to have a stationary computer that sits here at my home and I don't have to move it anywhere. It's gonna be there. That's what I did. So I, I, I purchased a brand new, nothing in it, bought a case, and then I just started looking for parts, looking for all the parts that I need. I was able to build this computer build here that you see. This build didn't really take that long. It really only took me about a month to build it and get all the parts in, even through the pandemic and things like that going on with mail not showing up on time and stuff like that. I was still able to get this computer built in less than a month, actually. My mind was set on a month. I wanted to, I was like, you know, I want to get it done in at least 30 to 60 days, but I ended up doing it in less than a month and I'm so happy, I'm so blessed. I'm, I'm grateful for all of 
the, the information that I was able to find. I love it. I'm so happy with my purchase. Like I, I'm so glad that I made the purchase that I did and actually built a PC and didn't try to go back and get another laptop. Laptops, I mean, you know, we can use them for music production. We can use them for whatever we like to use them for, but they're not really built for us to be using them for music production and pushing them to the, the amount of power that we push to them. And, you know, no matter what powerful laptop you get, yes, it may last for a while, but they'll never be to the potential that they actually could be because they're, on, they're so limited to one speed. So let's say you buy a laptop this year, in three years, your laptop will be obsolete because there's so many different models and levels to computing <laughs> that you'll be you'll always be behind. And I, you know, that's just something that I've, I've learned. So yeah, so I built this PC, and as you see, you know, I bought a lot of different things. <laughs> uh, I still tried to make sure that I, you know, I stayed within range. I stayed with it within the level of me being able to upgrade you know, next year or the year after, but I wanted to be able to have a, a computer that will last me for five or more years and still be able to make small upgrades that are pretty big significant uh, or that make a significant change within the system itself. So I purchased the Ryzen 7 3700X processor. Why did I go with AMD and not Intel? Intel, Intel. I've never built a PC in my life. Like this is the first time I've ever built a PC. So I don't really know about who's better or who's trash or anything like that. I don't know anything about that. What I did was I went to Google as we all should and I searched and just did as much research as I could. What I found out with the AMD Ryzen's is that more so than Intel, they're geared more towards video editing and, and bigger uh, things that take up more processing if you're using a program that is core heavy, like let's say like an FL, FL Studio, it's able to use those other cores and it has 12 cores in it. So it's able to use all those cores within that processor if it needs to. Like I said, I'm not a computer whiz or a computer head. I just went to Google and, and research. So that's the computer I'll be working on from now on. Um, I'm so happy with the purchase. I'm glad that I purchased this. I'm glad that I went the route of building a PC and not spending my money to grab a laptop. And for you people, for you brand new producers or beginning producers or producers who just don't have the money or you feel like, well, I can't afford it. Well, I felt that way too. So with the PC and when you're building a PC, you can buy it piece by piece. So let's say, okay, I know that I want to build a PC. I'm gonna get a case. The case is 50 bucks, 70 bucks, 80 bucks. Okay, that's the first thing I need. I need to find a power supply. I can find a power supply, 100, 100 bucks, 150 bucks. Maybe cheaper than that. I can find a motherboard. I got my motherboard for 90 bucks. It's back up to 150 now, 140 now. So I got it for a good price. You know, I got the video card for pretty cheap as well. I think it's like 120 bucks. But stuff is, the, the point of me saying this is, you can get these things and they're they're attainable. You you know, you don't have to think of it as I gotta buy it all as one. You can buy them piece by piece and build this PC up in your leisure, in your time. And then, you know, by the point of you saying, okay, now everything's good, you got all that you wanted, not what you know was already boxed up inside of a box. And I think for me, in the end, I think I spent about nine between a nine hundred to a thousand dollars all together. Took a little time though. You know, I didn't just do this in a couple of days and get this out the way or one day and just go buy everything and be done. It took me a little bit, a, a little bit though. So yeah, if you wanna build a PC, like I said, I'll put the links in the description below. You guys can check it out, hit the links, go start building your computer up or doing research on those parts. That way you know what it actually is, all right? I hope that I helped somebody out there. I hope that someone got some game from this and was able to see what I did and possibly do that for yourself. You know, build you a PC to, so that you are up to par you know, music wise, because we want to have a computer that can handle all these plugins that we that we use. You know, we want to be able to use five instances of Omnisphere or Contact or, or Keyscape or something. Like I said, I hope I help someone out there and I hope that this inspires someone out there to go create. All right, I'm out of here, y'all. So until next time, peace.